Good morning. Welcome to Natalie Freeman's YouTube channel. I am so happy that you're here. Please, if you have not already, like and subscribe. It keeps this moving and grooving and I feel super grateful. Today, this flow is based around change and the inevitable change. How does it feel in the body? How do we process through it? How do we understand what we're moving through when it's happening? A very, very dear friend of mine, um, when I was living in Asheville, did this beautiful ceremony for me when my family and I were moving on to Charlotte, North Carolina. And she did this ceremony and she read all of these beautiful poems from this book, I Am Her Tribe. I know you can't see it because it's all white but it's I Am Her Tribe by Daniel Dovey. So if you don't have it, I highly recommend getting on Amazon and purchasing it because, wow. Anyway, I carry it with me wherever I go now. Um, so she's been with me for four and a half years now, which is kind of wild. Uh, so I wanna leave you with this before we start our flow. Trust that every no, every rejection is all part of the invitation. It is a redirection to a higher purpose. It is the universe guiding us into the bigger story our past has prepared us for. Sometimes I'll just thumb through this book of poetry and on any given day, her words spark something in me. Change is something that I always invite in, and it's so beautiful and exciting and fresh. And yet when it's arrived, it feels really overwhelming, daunting, scary, emotional, and there's still room for all of those feelings. So how do you process through change? How do you process through the growth that comes with change? So as we move the body, as we open and close the heart, as we open the throat chakra, pay attention to what comes alive, to what sparks, to where the mind goes. I'm a big believer that you don't leave the worry outside of the yoga mat. We bring it in. We bring in every emotion, every feeling, and we throw it right here on the mat. So stay with this. Think about the change that you're cultivating and creating right now. You might be in it. It might be coming. How does it feel? Let's start in child's pose. knees wide on the mat. If it feels better, you can bring the knees close together. Arms stretched out long. I like to gradually move into this. It's early right now for me. This is my first time moving my body. And if that's how it is for you right now, just take your time and then start to lower the forearms, inching the fingertips a little closer to the top of the mat, forehead heavy. If you haven't already, you can turn on some music that suits you for this flow. Starting to come into your space, into your breath. Where does change live within you? How does it move through you? How do you process it? How do you have space for all of the emotions that come with it? Inhale, walking the hands to the right side of the mat. 
left hand on top of right, turning the left armpit down towards the earth, inching the fingertips a little closer to the top right hand corner of the mat. Inhale, fingertips move to the center of the mat. Tent up onto the fingertips. Forearms off the mat, forehead off the mat. Engage the shoulder blades to track down the spine. Slightly tuck the chin, feeling the length in the back of the neck. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, move to the left side of the mat. Right hand on top of left. Inching the fingertips a little closer to the top left hand corner of the mat. Turning the right armpit down towards the earth. Breathing right here. Inhale, fingertips come to the center. We come up into our tabletop position bringing the knees hip-width distance. Shoulders are tracking right over the wrist. And when you're ready, moving through cat-cow. Staying with breath. Staying with the deepening of how you move through change. taking any sort of organic movement that feels good in the body. Send some love to the wrists. Maybe you turn the fingertips, shifting front, and back, maybe tucking toes, if you reach a spot that you need to send a little bit of love to, maybe you linger there for a few breaths. This is you trusting the intuition for what you need. And when you're ready, <clears throat> finding stillness in your tabletop. Right leg goes long behind you. We're setting up our warm up, even in the hands. Press into the hands or out of the shoulders, lifting the right heel a little bit more. Flex through the foot, tracking right hip down. Pulse. Five, four, three, two, one, take a bend in the right knee, we push it up, five, four, three, two, one, lengthen the leg long, point through the toes now, we're going to dip the toes to the left, the gaze follows, and then it comes around to the right, making a rainbow with the right leg, five, Four, three, two, one. Holding long, tuck left toes, hover the left knee. This is when you really start to feel the fire. Weight is even in the hands. Let go with the jaw. Lift the right heel a little bit more. Five, four, Three, two, one, lower the left knee, lower the right. Move through any sort of organic movement that feels good in the body. <sighs> Breath is good. When things start to feel uneven, shaky, come back to breath.
We're practicing life on our mat. How do you show up? Finding stillness in tabletop. Left leg goes long behind you. Tracking left hip down, press into the hands. Now flex through the foot. We pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Take a bend in the left knee. Push it up. Five, four, three, two, one, hold, lengthen through the left leg, point through the toes, we make our rainbow toes, actually we go to the right first, go to the right, and then swing it around to the left, five, four, three, two, one, leg long behind you, tuck right toes, hover right knee. Move the breath, loosen the face muscles in the face. Five, four, three, two, one, lower the knees. Take any sort of organic movement that feels good in the body. And then we find stillness. We're moving through hovering tabletop, tuck toes, hover the knees. Breathe right here, close the eyes, connect to your space, connecting to your mat. What story are you pouring out today? How do you move through change? How do you meet yourself where you are with grace? Five, four, three, two, one. Push it back, downward facing dog. <clears throat> Pedaling through the feet, shaking the head yes and no opening the mouth wide, letting go of all the air. Ha. <sighs> One more time, deep breath in and let it go. Ha. <sighs> Walking the toes to the top of the mat, baby step your way. Once you arrive, forward fold, Inhale, half lift. Exhale, drop it low. Inhale, look up, gaze up. Exhale, push the energy down, palms face down. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, push the energy down. Inhale, arms lift. Excuse me, I sneezed. <laughs> Bless me. <laughs> Inhale, arms lift one more time. We're going to push the energy down because my sneeze messed it up. Inhale, arms lift. Hands touch. They move to heart center. Close the eyes. Rocking the weight to the toes, to the heels, and then you find center right in the middle. feeling connected to your space, clear, grounded, and stable. You're right where you're supposed to be. You're breathing, you're connecting. How do you move through change? Where are you with change? Where are you with the choices that live within that change? The decisions. This is what we're moving through. This is what we're understanding at a deeper level. Where are you? Inhale, fingertips lift to the sky. Exhale, swan dive down, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Let's step it back, high plank. Hold your high plank. 
shifting it front and back. and then holding right in the center of your high plank. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lower all the way down. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, let it go. Tuck the toes, lift it high, high plank. Exhale, bend in the knees, send the hips up to the sky, down dog. Pedaling through the feet, shaking the head yes and no, opening the mouth wide, letting go of all the air. <sighs> One more time, deep breath in, let it go. <sighs> Ripple forward, high plank. Exhale, bend in the knees, send the hips up to the sky, down dog. Three point right side. Bend and stack, open the hip, square off in the shoulders, flexing through the right foot. Feeling the hip stack, feeling the navel twisting a little bit more to the sky. Lengthening the right leg long, knee to nose, hug it in, five, Four, three, two, one. Step it through, low lunge. Back knee drops. On the inhale, arms are lifting. Hugging right knee in. Adjust the shoulders to come down the spine. Exhale, cactus the arms, lift the gaze. Inhale, arms lift. On the exhale, left hand is going to hold on to the right elbow. Right hand is moving to the upper part of the back. Pulling the right elbow back. Feel the heart open. Bending a little bit more in that front knee. Hold. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, hands release down to the mat. Tuck back toes, runner's lunge. We step it back, high plank. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bend through the knees, send the hips up to the sky, downward facing dog. Pedaling through the feet. When you're ready, three point left side. Bend and stack, open the hip, flexing through the left foot, square off in the shoulders. Take the gaze under the left armpit. Feel the navel twisting. Lengthening through the left leg, ripple forward, knee to nose. Five, four, three, two, one. Step it through, low lunge, back knee drops. On the inhale, arms are lifting. Feel the length in the arms. Exhale, cactus the arms, lift the gaze. Inhale, arms lift. Right hand takes hold of left elbow. Left hand meets at the center of the upper back. Pull the right elbow back. Feel the heart lengthen. Bending deeply in that front knee, really push the pelvis forward. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, hands surrender down to the mat. Runner's lunge, tuck back toes. Step it back, high plank. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let's lower down. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, let it go. Tuck the toes, lift it high, high plank. Exhale, bend in the knees, send the hips up to the sky, downward facing dog. Pedaling through the feet, shaking the head yes and no, opening the mouth wide, letting go of all the air. <sighs> One more time, deep breath in. Let it go. Ah. 
Inhale, ripple forward, high plank. Exhale, bend in the knees, send the hips up to the sky, downward facing dog. Three point, right side, bend and stack, open the, heel, uh, open the hip. See if you can get the left heel to meet the mat. Right foot is flex, square off in the shoulders, take the gaze under the right armpit lengthening through the right leg, knee to nose, hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Step it through, high crescent lunge, come on up. If you've lost balance like me, we just reset it. Arms are high to the sky, feel the length in the back of the leg. You're bending deeply in the front knee, sink the hips down. Exhale, cactus the arms, lift the gaze. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, let's find our twist, left hand down, right arm to the sky. Pay attention to left hip, it's parallel to the mat. Feeling the shoulder blades kiss, feeling the heart twisting a little bit more. Hip is locked in place. Swinging the right arm behind you. It lifts you back up. High crescent lunge. Now with steadiness and balance, you're going to take the right toes and position them. I never moved my heel. I'm just picking the toes up and moving them to the top right corner. So they're just going to point that way. My outer, my inner thigh is exposed. My knee is dropping out. I'm going to take a bend in my left knee and I'm going to pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's find that twist one more time. Keep the right foot right where it is. Arm lifts to the sky. On the exhale, spin on the back blade of the foot. Right hand is pointing to the back of the mat. Gaze is following. Exhale, right hand comes back. Position the right toes to the top of the mat. Runner's lunge. We step it back, high plank. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, your flow. Take it or leave it. Down dog when you're ready. Nice work. <clears throat> Take a deep breath in and let it go. <sighs> One more time, deep breath in and let it go. <sighs> Three point left side, bend and stack, open the hips, square off in the shoulders. See if you can meet the right heel to the mat. Flex through the left foot. Now take the gaze under the left armpit. <clears throat> Lengthening through the left leg, knee to nose. Hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Step it through, high crescent lunge. Arms come up on the inhale. Feeling the length in the back leg. Sink the hips a little lower. Exhale, cactus the arms, lift the gaze. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, find your twist. Right hand down, left arm to the sky. Left hip parallel to the mat. I'm twisting the upper body to take my gaze a little bit more. Heart is shining up. Swinging the left arm behind the body. High crescent lunge, come on up. Breathe here. Position left toes to point to the left corner of the mat. Take a bend in the right knee. We pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. Find that twist again. Keep those toes pointed to the left. On the exhale, spin on the back blade of the foot. Left hand follows to the back of the mat. Follow the gaze. 
left hand comes back around, position toes to the top of the mat, runner's lunge. We step it back, high plank, your flow, take it or leave it, down dog when you're ready. <clears throat> take a deep breath in, let it go. <sighs> One more time, deep breath in, <clears throat> let it go. <sighs> Walking the hands back to meet the feet, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, drop it low. Inhale, chair at the back of the mat. Arms are long in front of you. You can see all 10 toes poking out from the knees. Let's make sure our thighs are turned on. Hands come to the outside of the thighs. Press the thighs into the hands. Now, once you have that sensation, hands move to the inside. Once you have that, now arms lift. Cactus through the arms. Feel the shoulder blades come back. Feel the heart open, lift the gaze, sit it down a little bit more. You've got this. Five, four, three, two, one. Let it go, dive it deep. Inhale, half lift. Let's walk it out, high plank. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bend in the knees, send the hips up to the sky, downward facing dog. Three point right side, bend and stack, open the hip, square off in the shoulders. When you're ready, flip your dog. Right arm long, cactus through the right arm. On the exhale, right hand meets earth, right leg flies high. Knee to nose, set it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Step it through. High crescent lunge, come on up. Cactus through the arms, lift the gaze. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, find that twist. Right hip hasn't moved. Take the gaze up. Swing the right arm behind the body, arms lift. Point toes to the top right hand corner. Take a bend in the left knee. Pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. Find that twist. Right arm to the sky. Spin on the back blade of the foot. Take the gaze to the back. Swing the arm back around. Position toes back to the top runner's lunge. Let's step it back, high plank, come on down, forearm plank. Feel the length in the body, slightly tuck the chin, spine is long. Move the breath, how do we move through change? I'm consistently changing the flow you know one piece and then I switch something up in it. How do we respond? It's all designed for you to keep thinking. We're gonna roll on to the right forearm. Forearm side plank. Stack the feet, left arm to the sky, lift the hips a little bit more. You've got this. Feel the strength in the right shoulder. Five, four, Three, two, one, lower the left forearm, forearm plank. Come on up, high plank. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bend through the knees, send the hips up to the sky, down dog. Inhale, three point left side, bend and stack, open the hip. Square off in the shoulders, flex through the foot, when you're ready, flip your dog. Left arm long, cactus through the left arm. Exhale, left hand meets earth, left leg flies high. Ripple forward, knee to nose, hold. Five, four, three, two, 
one, step it through, high crescent lunge, come on up, arms lift. Exhale, cactus the arms, lift the gaze. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, find your twist. Upper body is moving, left hip is still parallel to the mat. Left arm to the sky. Swinging left arm behind the body, high crescent lunge. Toes point to the top left corner, take a bend in the back knee, pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. Find your twist. Gazing up. On the exhale, spin on the back blade of the foot. Take the gaze to the back. Swinging the left arm back around, runner's lunge. Step it back, high plank. Forearm plank, come on down, you've got this. Feel the length. You're lifting through the hips, you're strong in the shoulders. Slightly tuck the chin. You're still squeezing inner and outer thighs just like you are in chair. Breathe here when you're ready. Forearm side plank on the left side. Right arm up. Check out my shoulder blades. They're pooling together. Feet are stacked or you can take the top foot and bring it right in front of the bottom if you need a little bit more stability. Lift through the hips. Lift through the right arm. Five, four, three, two, one, Forearm plank, come on up, high plank, hold. Close the eyes, feel the stability in the hands, the strength in the shoulders, core is tight. Inner and outer thighs still engaged, toes planted and rooted in the earth. How do we move through change? Take a deep breath in. Exhale your flow, take it or leave it. Down dog when you're ready. <sighs> Deep breath in and let it go. <sighs> One more time. Deep breath in, let it go. Inhale, high on the toes, step or jump to the top of the mat, forward fold when you arrive. Inhale, half lift, exhale, drop it low. Inhale, chair. Sitting back in the heels, you can see all 10 toes. If you need to make sure the thighs are turned on, take my little trick, hands to the outside, hands to the inside, and then arms lift. Cactus through the arms, feel the heart open, open the throat chakra. Stay right here, five, four, three, two, one. High on the toes, if you did a forward fold, I gotcha. Keep squeezing, you've got this. We're holding for five, four, three, Two, one, lower down, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Let's step it back, high plank. Your flow, take it or leave it. Down dog when you're ready. Deep breath in. Let it go. <sighs> one more time, deep breath in. Let it go. <sighs> Child's pose, knees wide on the mat, forehead heavy on the earth. Feel the arms lengthening forward, pressing the sits bones back. And rest. I say this in all of my in-studio classes and recorded sessions. How amazing it feels when I call child's pose. I want to keep reminding you of the feeling when I say 
child's pose when we're in the middle of a session and how amazing your body just immediately starts to give. The mind changed. You immediately thought, oh my God, thank you, Natalie. <laughs> I'm going to live. Yes, you are going to live. And you've arrived. Almost. We're not in Savasana yet. But noticing how we're working, we're building heat, the heart is pumping, you're relaxing your jaw, you're moving your breath, we're consistently moving from top to middle to back, back again, back again, back again. And then all of a sudden, I've called child's pose and that change hits us and how it feels in the body. We're given this space to breathe and to relax and to remember that you can call this at any moment during the practice. You can call this at any moment in life when things start to feel overwhelming. It's at our fingertips all the time and I feel and want to continue to remind everyone of that. I call it for myself constantly and it helps. As a single mama of two, thank God for child's pose. <laughs> so where are you in change? Where are you in the space of transitioning, of moving, going from point A to B, maybe you have to go back to A and then you can jump to C. These are all the stages. And it's so important that as we're moving through these different points, that we're noticing how the body is responding. Are we talking about it? I know that I did a class recently about vulnerability. And these are the moments when things can start to intertwine and it's so important. So move your breath. See your story. Take a deep breath in and let it go. <sighs> if you needed a sip, I would take one. <laughs> I drink my brew doctor every morning. It is my jam. When you're ready, we're gonna move through four rocking child poses. On the inhale, lifting up, bringing the heels to the rear, plugging the shoulders back, lifting the gaze. Exhale, push it right back, child's pose. Four times your breath, and when you feel complete, downward facing dog. Pedaling through the feet, bending the knees, shaking the head yes and no, opening the mouth wide, letting go of all the air. Ah. One more time, deep breath in and let it go. Ah. We're gonna stay with our flow, stay with the sound of my voice, listen to your breath, see how the change moves through your body. Ripple forward, high plank. Exhale, bend in the knees, send the hips up to the sky, down dog. Three point right side, bend and stack. When you're ready, flip your dog. Right arm long, lift through the hips, cactus through the arm, 
Exhale, right hand meets earth, right leg flies high. Knee to nose, hug it in. Five, four, three, two, one. This time, knee to left elbow. Thread the needle, fall in triangle, cactus through the left arm. Left hand meets earth, right knee to nose, Step it through, high crescent lunge, come on up. Cactus through the arms. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, find your twist. S swinging the right arm behind the body, high crescent lunge, come on up. Toes point to the top right, take a bend in the back knee, pulse. Five, four, Three, two, one, find your twist. Spin on the back blade of the foot. Take the gaze to the back of the mat. Hand swings back around, runner's lunge. Step it back, high plank. This time, we're doing a side plank on the right hand. Left arm to the sky. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Lift the hips a little bit more. Lift the top leg, right arm, left arm over the head. Take a bend in the left knee, elbow meets knee. Five, four, three, two, one, hold. Come back to high plank. Right leg lifts, knee to nose. Step it through, warrior two, come on up. Shoulders back, arms are lifted. Sink it down a little bit more. Move the breath. How do we reset? How do we come back to center? How do we move through change? Take a deep breath in. Exhale, spiral through. We're gonna take a grounded warrior three. I almost said a runner's lunge, but that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Hands are on the earth. Left hip is tracking down. Tuck the chin. Feel the crown of the head moving down towards the earth. Lift the left heel a little bit more. Really feel the right standing leg working hard. When you're ready, float the hands to heart center, warrior three. Lift through the upper body, come out of the right hip flexor. Feel the length in the left leg. Float the arms behind the body, up dog through the chest. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, left foot meets right, chair pose at the top of the mat. I'm gonna face you, you stay to the top of the mat. You can see all 10 toes, cactus through the arms, lift the gaze. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, dive it deep, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Let's step it back, high plank. Hold. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, your flow, take it or leave it. Down dog when you're ready. Deep breath in, let it go. Ah. One more time, deep breath in, let it go. Ah. Three point left side, bend and stack, open the hip, flip your dog. Left arm long, cactus through the left arm, on the exhale, left hand meets earth, left leg flies high. Ripple forward, knee to nose, hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Knee to right elbow, thread the needle, fall in triangle, cactus through the right arm. Feel the heart open. Exhale, right hand meets earth, left knee to nose. We step it through. High crescent lunge, meet knee high. Cactus through the arms. Inhale, arms lift. 
Exhale, find your twist. Left arm to the sky. Swing the left arm behind the body. High crescent lunge. Toes point to the top left. Take a bend in the back knee. Pulse, five, four, three, two, one. Find your twist. Spin on the back blade of the foot. Take the gaze. Left hand comes back around, runner's lunge. Step it back, high plank. Side plank on the left hand. Right arm to the sky, lift the hips a little bit more. Lift the top leg, right arm overhead. Take a bend in the knee, elbow meets knee. Five, four, three, two, one, come back around, high plank. Right, left leg lifts, knee to nose. We step it through, grounded warrior three. Right hip tracking down, lift the right heel a little bit more. See if you can lengthen through the left leg. Tuck chin, crown of the head tracks down. When you're ready, you can untuck the chin, float the hands to heart center. Lift through the upper body a little bit more. We find our balance, come out of the right hip. I'm sorry, left hip. Push the arms behind you, palms face down. Up dog through the chest, take the gaze to the front. Lift that right heel a little bit more. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, right foot meets left, chair pose at the top of the mat. You can see all 10 toes, arms are long in front of you, cactus through the arms, feel the heart open. Exhale, we dive it deep. Inhale, arms come to halfway point, half lift. We step back. High plank, take a deep breath in. Exhale, your flow, take it or leave it. Down dog when you're ready. Take a deep breath in and let it go. <sighs> One more time, deep breath in, let it go. <sighs> Ripple forward, high plank. Right leg lifts, knee to nose. You've got this. Step it through, warrior three. Lift the arms, float them behind you. Left leg long behind you. Up dog through the chest. When you're ready, take a bend in the left knee. It sends you to stork pose. Arms are high in front of you or above you, left knee is bent, left foot is flexed, shoulders are away from the ear, figure four. Hands float down to heart center. You're still flexing through the left foot. You're really sitting back in this. I can still see my right toes. Shoulders are away from the ears. You can stay here or you can take flight if that feels right for you. I'm going to guide you through it. You're going to take your hands. They'll meet the earth. I'm going to take my left toes and then they're, they're going to wrap around the top of my right arm. Then I'm going to take my left knee and it's going to come right behind the toes are going to wrap around the right arm. The knee is going to come to the back of the left arm. Now I'm going to tip my weight into my fingertips. You can stay right here just to see what it feels like. When you're ready, lift, right leg goes long. Something to have fun with and practice. It should not stress you out. And if it does, that's okay. You're just gonna be with it. If you still wanna practice your flying, by all means, if you're ready to meet me back in your figure four, come back. Inhale back to stork. 
Exhale, left foot meets right chair pose. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, dive it deep, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Let's step it back, high plank. Your flow, take it or leave it. Down dog when you're ready. Take a deep breath in and let it go. Ah. One more time, deep breath in, let it go. Ah. Ripple forward, high plank. Left leg lifts, knee to nose. Send it through, warrior three. Floating the hands to heart center. When you're ready, they move behind the body. Track right hip down, up dog through the chest. Take a bend in the right knee. We send it up, stork pose. Arms above the head, take a bend in the right knee. Don't lose balance. Breathing here. When you're ready, figure four. Hands moving down to heart center. Remember, you can stay right here. You can practice flying. We'll go through it one more time. This time I'm gonna do it facing the front of you. Staying in my figure four, right foot is flexed. Hands come down. I'm not gonna lift off because I don't have my mat right underneath me and this is a little slippery. So I have my hands down on the ground. Right toes are coming behind the left top of the arm. And then I have my right knee behind the top of my right arm. And I'm building that shelf, leaning forward, and then you lift off. It takes some practice. It's fun to do. And there's zero pressure. Arms lift high to the sky. Stork pose. On the exhale, right foot meets left. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, dive it deep. Inhale, half lift. We step it back, high plank. Hold right here. Come on down, forearm plank. Feet are long behind you. Feel the breath. We're gonna take some hip dips. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold right here. You've got this, keep holding. We're gonna take hip dips 10 more times. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower the hips, untuck the toes, sphinx pose. It never felt so good. Staying here. When you're ready, lifting into seal. Exhale, lower back down to sphinx. Lower the chest all the way down. We're gonna open our shoulders. Arms are out in a T. We're gonna roll on to the left or the right shoulder first. You're gonna take the left hand. Left foot comes behind the right leg. The more you twist the hip up, the more you're gonna feel pressure and release in the right shoulder. Closing the eyes. When you're ready, coming back around, moving to the left side.
rolling on to the tummy, lifting into high plank, lift it up. Exhale, bend in the knees, send the hips up to the sky. Take a deep breath in, let it go. <sighs> Inhale, high on the toes, bend in the knees, step it through, lay it down, happy baby pose. Grabbing hold of the feet. On every exhale, you're pressing a little bit more into the soles of the feet. You can rock side to side, or you can just stay still. Relax the shoulders, relax the jaw. How do you move through change? What came up as we flowed? Finding stillness in your happy baby. Lengthen through the right leg, still keeping the left leg in hand. Switching sides, just going back and forth. Taking this as slow as you can. When you're ready, soles of the feet meet the earth on the outer edges of the mat. Drop the knees to the left. You're going to take the left foot to the top of the right knee. And that left heel is just going to bring the right knee down a little bit more. Switching sides, soles of the feet on the outer edges of the mat. Drop the knees to the right. Right foot comes on top of the left knee. It guides it down. Relaxing the shoulders, the face muscles. Bringing the knees into the chest. Make big circles on the ceiling with the knees, massaging the lower back. When you're ready, hug the knees in tight. Wrap the arms around the shins. Lift the forehead to the knees. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, we let it all go. Take up space. Savasana. I invite you to stay here as long as you can. Take that time. Feel the body melting into the earth. If you would like to meet me in a seated position and end class with me here, you can do that as well. Tops of the hands on the knees, palms face up. Connecting to the center of the palm. The vibration that is yours and how it connects and collides with all that is around you. What do you bring in? What do you give back? Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. <sighs> One more time, take a deep breath in. Let it go. <sighs> Inhale, bringing the hands to heart center to seal your practice. Floating the thumbs to the third eye center. I honor and see the light in each of you. May you move through your change. May you notice your feelings, emotions. May you dive deeper. Namaste. Thank you for flowing with me today. Please be sure to like, subscribe, comment, come back for more. I will be posting daily videos. I will also be posting some fun breakout videos that will be short and sweet to deepen your practice, so stay tuned. Namaste.